Hey there, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Lesson 12, Units in Scale Drawings. After this lesson, you need to be able to tell if two scales are equivalent, and you need to be able to change the scales with units into scales without units and reverse. You'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can determine if two scales are equal, and if you can change the scales with units into scales without units, or the opposite. First, let's tell if scales are equivalent. So, it says one scale is given as 1 centimeter to 3 meters, while another scale is given as 100 centimeters to 3 kilometers. Are the two scales equivalent? So I'm going to try to change one of them so it's similar to the other, and then I can be able to compare. And I can do this by converting one or both of the units into the other using my equivalent measurements. Now, in order to do this, I need to know some of these common distance equivalents. So let's start with our standard ruler. A standard ruler is one foot long. Now, in that foot, there are inches. So the numbers on the ruler are actually inches. Inches can be at the beginning, it could be in the middle, it can be at the end. The whole foot is equal to 12 inches. We might also need to use a meter stick. Here we have part of a meter stick. And a meter stick, just like it sounds, is one meter long. Now, within the meter, there are the smaller sections. These are called centimeters. Okay, each smaller section is a centimeter. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. Now, we can even look closer. So here's a zoomed in version of a centimeter. Okay, 41 to 42 is one centimeter, but there are smaller lines within that. So each smaller line is called a millimeter. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Here are some common distance equivalents. So in the USA, we call them SI units. They include your feet, inches, yards, miles, etc. The rest of the world uses the metric system and metric units. Centimeters, millimeters, meters, kilometers, etc. You might also see them abbreviated. So here are some of those abbreviations. So now that we know some of our common equivalents, let's go back to figuring out if these two scales are equivalent. So again, we had one centimeter was equal to three meters. And 100 centimeters equal to three kilometers. We want to know, are these two scales equivalent? I noticed that in the first one, we have one centimeter. And in the second one, we have 100 centimeters. So those are already the same unit. It's just that the second one is 100 times more. So if I were to multiply the first one times 100, I could say an equivalent scale to the first one would be 100 centimeters is equal to 300 meters. Now, I still am not quite sure if these are equivalent. I can see that the 100 and the 100 are the same, but 300 meters and 3 kilometers, those aren't the same unit yet, so I don't know how they compare. So let's change kilometers into meters. I had three kilometers, and there's a thousand meters in one kilometer, so I'm going to multiply three by 1,000. So what I end up with is 100 centimeters is equal to 3,000 meters. Are those two scales the same? They both had 100 centimeters as our like drawing, but on the left, that is equal to 300 meters where on the right, it's equal to 3,000 meters. Those are not the same. They are not equivalent. Let's check a different example. So, one scale is given as one inch to five miles, 
while another scale is given as 1 to 316,800. Are the scales equivalent? You might think right off, no way, 1 to 5 compared to 1 to 316,000, not a chance. But we got to convert our units to figure out. I'm going to start off with what I know. So 1 inch is equal to 5 miles. First, I'm going to change miles into feet. So I'm going to do 5 times 5,280 because I know that there are 5,280 feet in one mile. If I had 5 miles, I multiply by 5. That will give me 26,400 feet. Now, I'm going to multiply by 12 because there are 12 inches in one foot. So if I multiply by 12, I end up with 316,800 inches. This results in a scale of 1 inch is equal to 316,800 inches. You might already start to see what's happening here. I'm comparing it to 1 to 316,800. I have one with units and one without units. Well, since the one that we were converting on the left has units and they're the same, we can always remove the units. If we do that, we get the same thing as the one on the right. Those two are equivalent. So in this lesson, we learned that sometimes scales come with units and sometimes they don't, but we can always convert one into the other. Okay. If we want to check if scales are equivalent, we just need to convert it so that our units match. So for example, if we had a scale of 1 to 1 million, okay, where every unit on the map is a million distance in real life, we can use that for any choice of unit. If we want to know if something's equal, we would use equivalent measurements to figure that out. We didn't talk about it in here, but a scale can also tell us how the area corresponds to the actual length. If you remember back to when we learned how areas compare, it's a factor of the scale to the second power, because the scale is going in two directions. We can use this fact to find the area of regions on in our we can use this to find areas of regions of our drawing or in real life. After this lesson, do you know how to determine if two scales are equal? And can you change scales with units into ones without units or the opposite? And that's the end of our lesson on units in scale drawings.